Welcome to this week's Prince William Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. This week, we're at the Public Safety Training Center in Noakesville, Virginia, talking about Fire Prevention Week. That's this week. We had a chance to talk to Mike O'Brien. He's a public education specialist uh, with the county, and he had a lot to tell us about Fire Prevention Week. One of the highlights of the week will be uh, sending home um, fire escape uh, plans with the students from kindergarten through fifth grade, and we're doing that in conjunction with Prince William County Schools. Our thanks to Mike O'Brien. Now, we also want to talk about 4-H Recognition Week. It's National 4-H Recognition Week this week. And I wanted to let you know about some of the 4-H groups that are right here in our county. Hi, my name is Cheryl Bass. Welcome to this week's Prince William Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. Have you ever wondered how your beautiful lawn can have an effect on the area's waterways? Well, I spoke with Mark Avini from the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and you may be surprised at some of the answers to just that question. Try to attend some of those seminars if you can. If not, of course, the county does have the horticultural hotline. You can answer about your soil or uh, any other questions you have about your lawn and your garden. Call the number on your screen uh, for more information and help on that. That's the latest of the Prince William Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Welcome to this week's Prince William Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. This week we're talking about Red Ribbon Week. It's all this week and next week. And we're going to be talking to a couple of the teens that are involved in some of the activities around Prince William County. Stay tuned. And we'd really like to see your participation this year. Janae and Ann have been great at telling us what Red Ribbon Week really is. Now we can find out some of the fun stuff, some of the activities that are going to go along with it. Some activities held during Red Ribbon Week include, we hope to see you there. Hope to see you guys there, too. Now, here's a recap of the Red Ribbon Week events. Uh, the kickoff is Friday, October 16th for Teen Night at the Manassas Mall. That starts at 6.30, ends at 9.30, and the theme will be The Way to Be Drug Free. They'll be featuring karaoke by Sound Explosion. So come on out, bring your friends for an evening of fun, giveaways, and all kinds of helpful tips for adults and teens. As you know, teen nights are designed to encourage teenagers to enjoy themselves in a drug-free environment. Environment. Also during Red Ribbon Week, Saturday, October 17th, they'll be having pledge drives at the area giant store. That's where you can sign pledge cards to remain drug and alcohol free. They'll be doing it at Marumsco Hills, Westgate, Lake Ridge, and Miniville Giants. That's between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Also, they'll be having a Red Ribbon Day at the Chin Center. That's Saturday, October 24th. Uh, from 11 until 5, all kinds of activities for kids of all ages, moon bounce and preschool activities, youth basketball, adult basketball, uh, dance team jamboree, just lots of stuff to come out and have some fun with between 11 and 5. Now, the same day, it's the nighttime teen dance at the Chin Rec Center. For any of the Chin Rec Center Red Ribbon Day activities, call 791-2338 extension zero and they can answer all your questions and finally they're going to be having a teen panel discussion it's october 29th at the mccourt building in board chambers as part of the red ribbon week uh, prince william area teens will be discussing the challenges of staying drug and alcohol free now the red ribbon is a national symbol of intolerance of illegal drug use and also a commitment to a drug-free lifestyle so show your support by attending the teen panel Sure hope you're going to come out and participate in some of the Red Ribbon Week activities again October 16th through the 30th. So even though it's called Red Ribbon Week, it's actually two weeks of time. For more information, call the Office on Youth at 792-6095. That's this week's Prince William Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. We'll see you next week. Families are big in Prince William County. Lots of things for families to do. Today we're going to be talking to Project Parent Coordinator Joyce Andrew, and she'll have some information on what you can do as parents and kids to enjoy yourselves even more. All that coming up right after the news. Stay tuned. Welcome to this week's Prince William Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. Our top story this week, the Board of County Supervisors has adopted a revised land use plan for Prince William County. In community news this week, we're featuring Project Parent. I had the chance to speak with Project Coordinator Joyce Andrew, and here's a little of what she had to say. Joyce, what is Project Parent? Project Parent is a coalition of businesses, individuals, and organizations 
who are committed to family-friendly environments and to supporting parents in Prince William area. So Joyce, what kind of things stress the family? Uh, there are many stressors in today's world. We no longer live in small communities. Parents may not even know their neighbors. Uh, we no longer have family or communities that sort of support families where everybody knows one another and keeps an eye out for everyone else's children. Now, what could families do, what could parents do to kind of help out in preserving their own family or maybe some things that they already do? Well, there's many things that we do that we don't think about that are very important, such as maybe reading to a child at night, taking a child to the library, the museum, setting limits, um, setting time for bedtime, for chores, for homework, just being there, being available for a child. I also had the opportunity to meet with Lori Gill. She's a demographer for the county. We spoke about the statistics on families in Prince William. Prince William County has a lot of families where we have at least two people in the family who are working, who are out in the workplace working. Uh, about 76% of all of our households in the county have two or more members of the family working. Uh, that's an extremely high percentage. We're ranked 14th in the United States out of over 3,100 counties on that statistic. So it's a, it's a real defining characteristic of our county. What does someone have to do to join Project Parent? Um, all they need to do is to call me with an interest in Project Parent, and I will send membership information to them. Okay. Thanks so much, Joyce Andrew from Project Parent. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Representatives from Project Parent will be on site at the Prince William County Fair on August 16th from noon until 8 p.m. That's this week's Prince William County Edition. I'm Stephanie Lloyd-Stallworth. Thanks for watching.